Tourmaline oil is your first pick. Uh, that would be your favorite among. Oh, sorry, that was a past pick. I beg your pardon. I was thinking okay. back to what you. That's you, a great you had company to too, though. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> would you stick with tourmaline oil just as a matter of interest? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, Amazon.com is your first idea for us. Yeah, again, um, you've seen the price come down almost fifty percent uh, from its highs last year. Um, you know, undisputed market leader in the online retail space. Mm -hmm. um, you know huge cloud provider with their Amazon Web Services business. Um, they're trading at pretty cheap numbers compared to their historical values. Um, around 10 times EBITDA for 2023, eight times 24. And again, um, you know, with retail opening up, there was some decline in online ordering. We don't think that that's a permanent thing. We think that, you know, as things progress, more and more people will order things online, go to cloud services. Um, an example would be their buy prime going on third party websites um, to facilitate two day delivery. Um, really positive things. The company continues to innovate. They've had situations like this before where the prices come down yeah. um, and it, it has always come back. Our view there is that you're getting a great leader, great balance sheet, great management and um, you're getting it at a good value. So long-term holding for, for us, for sure. Maybe we could put up a 10-year chart. I don't know if we have that right now uh, for Amazon. Uh, I mean, it has had fallow periods yep. in the past. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And again, you know, um, it comes to our thesis of, of buying really well-run, low-debt-level companies, market leaders in their spaces. And Amazon, you know, again, would definitely be in that realm. You see the mm. chart there. There's, there's ups and downs. Um, you know, I think you're getting it at a great price and you're getting a really, you know, company that isn't going anywhere and going to continue to generate um, lots of profits and cash. Canadian Natural Resources is your next idea. Yeah, again, um, you know, a wonderful company, one of Canada's largest. Uh, they have oil sands developments um, that they've spent a lot of money on. Uh, our view there is that they will reap the rewards and... Um, you know, similar to our conversation on, on Birchcliff there, they have a plan in place where they will be returning more and more money to shareholders as debt levels come down. So, um, you know, shareholders know that and, um, you know, the price of oil and gas has come down a little bit, but still at pretty good levels, certainly on the oil side. Um, any increase in price goes to the bottom line there and eventually will go to shareholders um, uh, over time. So again, uh, you know, extremely well-run company, um, you know, good dividend yield as is, and, um, you know, more money coming to shareholders over time. Okay, yeah. In the past year, according to Bloomberg, your return has been, the stock has gone up 23%, but including dividends, it's 31%, yeah. Yeah, and, and again, a couple of these oil names, Tourmaline has been one, um, you know, CNQ, um, Canadian Natural, they've they declared special dividends, mm -hmm. which in our view is really the right way to go with a, with a business that's in a commodity space because mm -hmm. you're not always guaranteed to those numbers. So you want those uh, special dividends just to make them uh, extra juicy. You are a fan of the Brookfield family, but your next idea is Brookfield Corporation, which is the original company after the spinoff. Yeah, so it's the Brookfield Asset Management renamed, um, and it holds 75% of the Brookfield Asset Management now spinoff. Um, it, it's really a valuation um, idea there where um, it is trading very cheaply. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing a sum of the parts analysis, you're almost getting the real estate assets for free as part of this valuation. Um, the cash flows they get from fee uh, earning income uh, from the asset management are fantastic. They're recurring. Mm -hmm. They have been very good capital recyclers um, with their investments. And I mean that by way of they invest, they improve, they sell, and then they do it again. Um, we just think it's very cheap. And I think part of the reason is, is that with the rise in interest rates and the return to work, um, you're seeing a lot of negativity around office space. And by definition, those are the real estate assets that Brookfield holds. Um, so again, you're just getting it discounted into a level that we think is pretty cheap. And uh, you're getting best in class management also with Brookfield, their family of, of companies, we think that a lot of the benefits flow right up to the top. And uh, that has been the case historically. So Brookfield Corp is the top and um, you're getting it at a cheap value. So win-win.